there's a scene that repeats itself in almost every home. If you didn't see it from your, your mother, you got it from your wife. Some, your wife or your, your mother makes dinner. And she uh, inevitably will say, everybody come, dinner, dinner's ready, right? So I just want to analyze for a second. Like, what, 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 why is it important to come when dinner's ready? Meaning, naturally what we do is we stay on the couch, keep reading the book, or stay on the computer, or whatever it is, you know, and then our mother or wife has to yell again, come on guys, it's getting cold, right? Ever heard that? Getting cold, right? Why do we care if it's getting cold? It's only when it's cold, like, why, why do we care? So, um, the, the basic, I mean, I think it's obvious that when it's fresh, when it's hot and fresh, so that's when it's best, right? It means it's absolutely ready. And the person who made it, that's your mother or your wife, um, once you eat it, when it's at its best, right? That's what it means to be fresh, correct? Okay, because nice, tomorrow night you're going to eat it leftovers anyway. <laughs> but when it's fresh, when it's ready, when it's, when it's ready, that's when it's the best time. So, in Parshas Emor, we dis, the, the Torah discusses the Lechem HaPanim. Now, one of the misim of the Lechem HaPanim was that they stayed fresh. The entire week, when you walked in, if you were allowed, to the Kodesh, you smelled fresh bread. And the Kohanim let it sit there an entire week. And they would eat it on Shabbos, and it would be fresh. When they brought it, it was always Paschama, always ready, to, always fresh, always ready. Right? So now, it's well known the Shulchan represents Parnasa. So the, there's, a, there's a message here that the Akadosh uh, Baruch Hu is always, our Parnasa is always ready. He always has it. It's, it's fresh. It's ready. He can give it to you right now. He can give it to you in two minutes, ten minutes, five minutes. It's always Mizuman. It's always ready. He can always give it to you. He always has it. The question is, how do you get it? And he's always ready. It's on the shulcha. It's hot. It's ready to go. It's fresh. So how do you get it? So it's so interesting. The day they would give out, sorry, the day they would switch the chalos of the shulcha is Shabbos. That was when they switched the breads, if I'm not mistaken. Now, that's so interesting, because what is Shabbos? Is, is Shabbos the day, a day to pay somebody? Shabbos is a day of work? Shabbos is a day of rest. It's a bad definition, but Shabbos is a day of rest. Shabbos is the one day when there's only a Veda. Shabbos Yasa Kula Teira, that's what I was going to say. Shabbos is the one day when there's, no, there's, there's only Hashem. So there's obviously a very clear message here. If you want Parnasa, when do you get it? They didn't give out the Lechem Panam on Tuesday. They didn't give the Lechem Panam on Monday to Thursdays. They gave the Lechem Panam on Shabbos. Because what they're trying to, sh- what Hashem is trying to show us is that the Makor Abrocha is Shabbos, which means the Makor Abrocha is a Torah and Avayim. So, in our world today, of course, we're obviously backwards. We think, well, <laughs> if I don't work hard, I won't make any money. So I say different. If you don't serve Hashem hard, then for sure you won't make any money. Use the message of Shabbos, which is the message of Avoida. If you're Kovea yourself, the Avoida, you'll have Parnasa. Lo ala lechem levado yichye ha'adam, ki al kol motzepi Hashem. And the Mepharshim say, it means the Devar Hashem in the bread. The Devar Hashem in your Parnasa, that's what you really live on. And how do you put the Devar Hashem in your Parnasa? Tell you another.